at you, sir. <laughs> today, the audience is all the way live. But today, OK, hold on, hold on. Okay. Because we're going to start the show a little differently. Lights. OK, all right. OK, Tan Fam, do you recognize this line? I'm going to try my best here. I am dancing a bright beam of light. I am remembering love. Hold on. Today, exactly 26 years ago, on this day, a certain movie reminded us how much love and poetry can ignite passion. And our first guest today, Mr. Lorenz Tate, partnered with the incomparable Neil Long and had me and many others chosen to be in love. Now, before bring out one of the hardest working men in Hollywood, the Lorenz Tate. Tan fam, I asked my team to indulge me at the top of this show. I said, guys, I just want to pay tribute to the power of poetry with Chicago born and Atlanta based spoken word artist, Teresa the Songbird, who exploded on the scene with her much talked about viral poem, You So Black. Well, today we are live with a love poem. Take it away. We go together like peanut butter and jelly, like fish and spaghetti, like hot sauce and everything, like, like Mike and Ike's, like good and plenty, like Forrest and Jenny, baby, we peas and carrots. We inherit the best our parents could show. We grow, we, we like Lisa and Hakeem, that means we let our souls glow. We solos, we two rows laid parallel, getting there one step at a time. We rhythm and rhyme, blues and blue lines, ink and computer keys. We you and me doing the damn thing, no sampling. We empty NPCs, we MCs MP3, we die hard iPod, video, tripods, viewed on YouTube, weaving a voodoo, we chango, we ocean, we middle passage, traveling through oceans. We the ingredients to this love potion, bubbling in this cauldron. We smoldering, we scalding, we 45s revolving with no scratches and no skips. Look, baby, no scratches, no skips. It's like magic still exists. We touch and we kiss, we embrace and it's bliss. And we love it like this. Yes, now, that, that, that is how you kick off a show. Teresa, the song's burned down. And Tam Bam, you can check out her new children's-based book on that beautiful viral poem that I listen to just about every day, You So Black, a celebration of the joy of blackness. And guess what, members of the audience? You're all going home with a copy! That's how we're starting off this show with this on top of this on top of this! Thank you. I adore you. I adore you. All right. Now, now that the poet has gotten you in the mood, Please welcome Screen Actors Guild winner and Critics' Choice Award winner, actor, executive producer, the man on the internet, they say reverses in time because he never ages, the Lorenz Tate! Listen, I just want to congratulate you. First and foremost, I want to congratulate this incredible woman. Oh, my love. On I love everything. Her. Thank you. Let's give it up for Tammy. Oh, Let's give it up. Come on. Give it up. I want to give you your flowers now. Oh I want to give you your God. roses now. Just Thank to, you. Yes, I love just you. To, just to say, Liz, congratulations Thank on you, my everything. Thank you. We've been friends for a very long time. Yes, yes. Long, yes. long. Yes. I did not know until today, 26 years ago today. Love Jones. Today. Today, 26 years? 20, you, yes! What? Yes! yes. 26 years wait a, wait a minute. How is that possible when I'm 22 and you're 21? <laughs> 
You're 20. Okay. How old are you? We're, we're too I'm young for this enough. to be 26 years old. What is I, going on? I'm going to skip ahead because I was going to ask you about that. People, you know they say you age in reverse. On social media, they call him the real life Benjamin Button. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you still look exactly the same. Oh, well, thank you. Well, you look amazing. Oh, thank well, you. Oh, thank you. I don't look the same. I mean, um, but it's crazy. You never stop. So again, we've been friends for a very long time. Yes. We've hosted events together. We have laughed. And oh, we've had great We've time. had stories. It'll yes. be in the book when I write yes, it one day. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But me and your brother. There it is. That's us. Uh, that's that's I am close to the tape, brothers. You yes, they're sending their love. Lorana Lamar is sending their love. Phenomenal. You guys have stayed so on top of the game. I watch your social media a lot. Look at your social media. You always talk about the hustle. Yes. You say, I'm in the hustle. I'm always yes. hustling. You've been doing this since you were 14, acting since 14? Technically, actually, professionally, since I was 10. 1985. 10. 1985 was my first uh, actual speaking role, professional role. Uh, I was uh, in a uh, the remake of The Twilight Zone. Oh, when I, when, how old were you? I was 10. Okay. 1985. In 1985? Yeah. Let's play that clip. I need what? clarification. What? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mommy, I think something's wrong with Santa Claus. <laughs> I think Santa's wasted. <laughs> Come on! My team found it! How do y'all find this stuff? <laughs> yes, I was, that was back in 1985, what was like... What 19, did you say? You, what was I the think, line? so in that, in that moment, the, 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 the Santa Claus is drunk, and my line was, I think Santa's wasted. <laughs> Santa's that was my wasted. first professional line in, in, in anything, and so yeah, that was me. Back in 1985. So I've been doing it for a little bit. Oh, a little bit. And it's, oh, wow, yeah. that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? I isn't love you? it, though. You're, you look exactly the same. Just short hair. <laughs> hair. Yes, but my, my, uh, you're, you, my, my hairline, I got, the, I got to make sure that the hairline is a little better. <laughs> hairline was a little suspect What's right crazy? there. So you've had the acting roles, you executive produced. We um, did an event together because you were on the forefront with Spotify bringing a next level storytelling to Spotify with Lawrence Fishburne. Remember yes, that? Yes, yes, so we did that. All of these projects. Yeah, we we that was Bronzeville, which Bronzeville you speak of. was yeah, beautiful. Which was a beautiful story uh, that we wanted to tell uh, about black excellence and the fact that you know the black community you know was self sufficient at a time after you know Jim Crow and after all the in things the historic that, in Bronzeville the, neighborhood in Chicago. In Chicago, and you know what we wanted to just share was that you know there's a lot of things that we've had as a community the hurdles, but there was sort of a roadmap, you yeah. know, that we were able to get to and have that American dream. Uh, and it was materialized. And we wanted to kind of remind the community and the rest of the world that, you know, black folks got a lot of great things going. And uh, the things that have, you know, sort of held us back and marginalized us does not define who we truly well, are. Well, to your point. Yeah, yeah absolutely. To your point. Um, you and your brothers really are the American dream. Three brothers, you launched your own entertainment company. Correct. And your career, the, look how handsome all of you are. <laughs> You've stayed so relevant. I mean, I was looking at just the list of films. Dead Presidents, by the way, one of my, ah, it's, it's incredible. If yeah, I, it's I mean, yeah. as much as I love Love Jones, yes. every day I could probably watch that film because it is so gritty, it's sure. so rich. I don't like asking this question because it's it's a uh, it's kind of a corny question, but no, go come on. I, there's no corny question. Do you have like a favorite when you look at Love Jones? Because I know you and Nia were together at the luncheon at es Essence Festival. I mean, at the uh, 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 Essence uh, uh, luncheon. Excuse yeah, me. the lunch. Yeah, black, black you, women in Hollywood. Black women in Hollywood, mm -hmm. and you talked about that that moment of time for you and her just really changing you in some yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to answer your question. Um, I don't really have a favorite, but I, the ones, I guess I kind of do, it's a combination of them. Certainly, I uh, mean, Love Jones, Why the Fools Fall in Love oh. is another one. Uh, Dead Lama. Presidents yeah. and Minister Society, yeah. which was my first film. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, dog. Oh, dog. I mean, let, and, and that's, what I, that's why I said I felt like it was a point. You have so many iconic characters. Mm -hmm. That character, Minister Society, I was just watching Snowfall. Mm -hmm. and. I mean, this was a precursor for a genre sure. of films that finally took us into a world of young men who were complicated, sure. but they had reasons for the complicated Yeah, I mean, you know, historically, black folks didn't tell our own stories, yeah. right? You know, um, and, you know, to make sure that our narrative was authentic, yeah. 
you know, the Hughes brothers were able to tell that story, Alan and Albert Hughes. Uh, they wrote it along with an incredible writer, and we were able to really put a, a film together at the time that we didn't know was going to be such a, it a classic. It was transformational. It was transformational, for sure. Transform and it was just a peek into what young, you know, black men were dealing with, young black males were dealing with, and, and as young as they, they were. And it was just a peek inside of, of the community and the culture at that time. And I think it still resonates to this day. It absolutely so, does. Yeah, so I've been re really fortunate. You talk about young men. I still can't believe your boys are, they're not little babies anymore. No. So their ages are? Uh, 16. 14, nine, and four, all boys. All boys. <laughs> so the Tate brothers have the new Tate brothers. Yes. Do they know now, like, who dad is and you all know, of that? They do, the old, especially the older boys. Uh, Miles and Xander are my older boys. Uh, Zion and Marley are the, are the younger two. And they, they know, but I'm just dad at home. Yeah. You know, I'm just dad, and I think their friends get a kick out of it. You know, the fact that they, like, do you really know who your father is now? <laughs> Yeah, so what? You know what I mean? Um, and, and I love a, that Jamie Foxx introduced you to your wife. Yeah, so so it's an interesting story. So <laughs> the story the story is that yes, he didn't quite introduce me uh -huh. to her. So there was an event back in 2000. Look at my wife. She's so oh. fine. She's so fine. <laughs> so back in 2000, my wife and I, she, she and I have been together for 23 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, she is. She is my rock. She's, a uh, rock. she's the CEO of our family. <laughs> she runs everything. Uh, I truly love her. And she sort of, you know, steps back yeah. and allows me to, and supports me in a real yeah. way uh, to do what I do. And um, so back in 2000, uh, during All Star Weekend, we were all having a, this big party. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a private event, and there was, you know, all kinds of people yeah. coming in. And I know Jamie had threw, was throwing a, a private party, and there were a couple people that, you know, he had invited, uh -huh. right? And, <laughs> and, and so, so, so at the time, it was real simple. He was like, hey, there's, a, there's this, you know, there's this young, you know, couple people that's gonna come through. Uh, uh, I want you to, I, I wanna talk to somebody, but I need you to keep her friend like occupied while oh. I just talk to her. But I was like, I'm not playing your wing, man. I'm not, <laughs> nah. And that person was the person that I later would marry and, and, oh and my spend God. my life partner. So Jamie didn't introduce you. So, no, he didn't you. quite. Yeah, he didn't. So it was. It, you were it like was Maverick energy. and Goose. Yeah, you I was were a being... Maverick. Yeah, I was. You know what I'm saying? I was. I was on, on my. You know, my wow. wingman for a moment. And the and the person that he was talking to, they didn't connect at all. It was like two, three minutes. They was like, okay, whatever it was. But you got the prize. I got the prize. Oh wow.